Hey guys, I'm going to give you a, a, a series of problem solving steps in physics. Uh, and each of these, or most of these, will be uh, graded. So that means that uh, out of all these steps, each step will be graded on the, on the quiz that you take or the test that you take. Okay, so uh, we'll call this uh, physics problem. Solving. Okay, so you're going to label the notebooks physics problem solving. Okay, I think we've already discussed um, the basics of it, but I want to go through it one more time. Uh, diagram. Okay, list the given information. We'll actually say list the given and then um, identify the unknown. Okay. Choose a formula. Okay. Choose the correct formula. Rearrange. If necessary. So you want to make sure you, re you rearrange a formula if necessary. Sometimes you can get away with solving the, uh, the problems without rearranging the formulas. Uh, just a matter of knowing what each one of those means. Okay, step five is to substitute and solve. Um, and so each of these will be about 20% of the score. <laughs> that means you could probably get um, a decent grade, even if you didn't get the right answer, uh, but you did all of these steps. Okay, and then like the, the last step would be to just check it uh, for... I'd say consistency or maybe even like, does it make sense? Check for, does it make sense? Okay, does the question make sense? Okay, guys, that's a quick little uh, recap on physics problem solving. And you will be asked to write down all these uh, steps as you solve these problems. I promise you it will help you in the long run. Uh, you may not like it at first <laughs> because, it, you know, some of these problems you can solve without doing these. But I will promise you that you will um, certainly need to use these uh, steps to solve problems in the future.